This episode of the Waterloo Watermelon is sponsored by telling your parents that you love them. Um, yes, yes. Other than no. Um, uh, what you working on, Ringo? Just one of my incredible pieces of art. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I don't, oh, I don't know. It's all uh, sort of important in in good ways. In the late 90s, while on tour, Ringo Starr discovered a little piece of software called MS Paint. Imagine this if you will. Ringo Starr, the drummer of The Beatles, the greatest band of all time, arguably, booted up his 90s block of a computer, opened MS Paint for the first time, and did something along the lines of... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa. 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 Wow. Whoa. And this was like a revelation for him. This was more than a stupid hobby or pastime. This was the beginning of a new career. Ringo trained his skills as an artiste over the years that followed until finally, Ringo was ready for his first official showcase of paintings in 2005. This is some of the art that was showcased. That guy is lying. It is obvious he is lying. Why did they put that interview in? When he said, it's really quite good. With zero passion, did you believe him? Well, you shouldn't have because he's lying and this art is bad. Now shut up and keep watching. Yeah. From a beetle to Picasso. How? How does this happen? You don't praise a person's art just because they were once a successful drummer. If I showcased art like this, I can guarantee that the criticisms of Mr. Multicolored Soul Patch would have been a bit more along the lines of, give up, you're bad, go die. Like if Paul McCartney invited you to a three course meal and he served you stale dry noodles topped with an entire loaf of moist raisin bread, you wouldn't say, from a beetle to Gordon Ramsay. You would say, no thanks Paul, love your music, but this is- Word for not good. And maybe I'm being a little hard on Ringo here, but you know what? Shut up, scratch that. This painting is $3,800. This one is $6,000. Even the cheapest ones I can find are still over $1,000. You can make this stuff yourself in less than a minute. What? 50? No. What does that even mean, Ringo? I wouldn't even pay $50 for this piece of garbage. Here, watch how fast I can make a Ringo painting. Done. $1,800, please. Now, let's talk the naming schemes of these paintings real quick. <clears throat> man in blue hat. I lidded man. No, no, no. Again, this is a member of the Beatles we're talking about. This man is literally on my wall, and this is what he's doing with his time. Here, you know what? Okay, this is what Ringo Starr himself has to say on the matter. Ahem. <clears throat> Most of the titles for my pieces arrived because on computer, you have to call them something. So, I have. Ringo actually said that. It's not even a grammatically correct sentence. And on the subject of grammar, look at this title. A elephant foot. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, though I'm 99% certain I'm not, but shouldn't this be an elephant foot? I mean, that's fine. Ringo, we all make mistakes. But you know what? This is a $1,800 painting and it's not grammatically correct. Anyway, yeah, that's Ringo's art for ya. First a drummer, then a painter, and then I think a Powerpuff Girl at one point. My memory gets hazy. Anyway, shout out to JW for leaving this comment on my weird food history video and giving the inspiration to make this video happen. Live long, praise Ringo, Sub subscribe? Also 200 subscribers, yay! yay.